Kathleen. Today we're going to make an amazing kale salad from the Oh She Glows blog. It's a cranberry kale salad with a pecan parmesan. So it's going to be a nut nutritional yeast parmesan, not a real cheese parmesan. Okay, so it's great for the holidays. It's great for any meal really, but it goes well with the lasagna I showed you last time and the lentil loaf I showed you at Thanksgiving. But we're just having it tonight with some pasta and marinara sauce. So again, you can have it anytime and it's so good. So we're gonna get started. The first thing you wanna do is take a cup of pecans and you're going to, well, you can cut them in half and you're gonna roast them in the oven at 300 for about eight to 10 minutes. So you could get that started and then dive into chopping your kale because there is a lot of kale involved. So you're gonna do about eight cups of kale and you're gonna rinse it real good. I get this organic kale from Ralph's. It comes in giant bunches for 99 cents, so it's so affordable. So you're going to take it off the stalk, and then you could tear it in small pieces. You don't have to massage it this time because it's going to soak uh, basically in its dressing in the refrigerator for a couple hours, and that will make it more tender. We just want to dice it real tiny, or again, feel free to just tear it with your hands. No, no knife skills required, really. Okay, and I've already prepped a lot of it because it takes a lot. Okay. So we're going to add that to what I've already done beforehand so you don't have to wait on me. Again, this is about two bunches or eight cups, all right? And kale is such an amazing superfood. So I have one cup of kale, people don't know this, there are three grams of plant protein in that. It's also, kale is very high in vitamin A and C, so it's very nutrient dense. I love adding kale to anything. That I used to use iceberg lettuce in as a child, like a sandwich instead of iceberg lettuce. I use kale, tacos, kale, burritos, kale, a bed of chickpea salad, I put kale. So it's just so full of nutrition. So I hope you'll add more kale into your life. Then we're going to dive into the pecan parmesan. So once your pecans have roasted for about 8 to 10 minutes, we're going to put them in the food processor. Okay. And like I've said before, I used to be intimidated by any recipe that had a food processor. I would just say, oh, pass. But now, thanks to my husband Wade, I have embraced our food processor. So after we put in the pecans, we're going to add a nutritional yeast, which I've showed before. This is from Bragg's. You can see it looks like yellow fish food. It's also in the bin. And it's chock full of B12 vitamins. Because if you are 100% vegan, you want to take a B12 supplement or make sure you're getting it through your diet such as nutritional yeast. And you can also put this on popcorn and it's awesome. Okay, so B12 is found in the soil, animals ingest it, so then they have B12. We scrub our vegetables, so we scrub the B12 off the bacteria in the soil so we don't get our B12. So you're gonna do a tablespoon and a half of nutritional yeast with the pecans. We're gonna do a couple pinches of salt and I just like to use sea salt. And then we're going to add in some olive oil. I just use extra virgin olive oil from Kirkland. I have never tried to reduce the oil, so that can be up to you. I'm not an oil-free vegan. It's super dry, so I need a little oil. All right, so just those four things. Pecans, nutritional yeast, a tablespoon of olive oil, and a pinch of salt. We're going to come back to the oil in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to blend this. If possible, sometimes it's hard with the food processor, you want to leave it like a little crumbly so it's not just turned to dust. And if it does, don't worry about it. It'll still be delicious. How's that looking? I think that's good. Let's see. Dive in there. So then you have a little bit of the chunks. I think that looks good. So the nutritional yeast and the nuts make up the Parmesan. So we're going to add this to our kale. It's so easy. I love this recipe. All right. Going to dump in our nuts, and we'll come back to that, and we're going to add our dressing. So really, you don't have to rinse this out because it's all going into the kale together. We're going to add our dressing, and then we'll put it in there. Okay. All right. Makes it a little easier. So now for the dressing, we're going to do a fourth of a tablespoon of lemon juice, and I cheat, 
I use this organic lemon juice from Costco, Kirkland brand. Hopefully you can find it. And then two teaspoons of garlic. I also cheat and do minced garlic. You can use, use two cloves. Again, I use garlic almost every day, so I just got tired of mincing. <laughs> and so I use it by already shop. So two cloves or what would be a table, excuse me, a teaspoon of chopped garlic already. All right. Then we have a fourth of a teaspoon of salt and then more olive oil. So it calls for three to four tablespoons. I'll just do three here. And that's going to be it. Garlic, lemon juice, olive oil, and a little salt. And we are almost done. And hopefully you're realizing now that I mainly just like easy recipes. Because <laughs> as much as I like to cook, I don't like to be in the kitchen all the time either. Okay, here we go. Let's blend this up. So that's an easy blend. And we are going to add it to our kale and pecan parmesan. And this is so delicious. Once it's soaked for an hour or two, and then we're gonna add in, and I'm just gonna do that now, a couple handfuls of cranberries, and I'll just, there's so many cranberries, but these are some cranberries from Trader Joe's. These are organic, very affordable. And as little, or as many cranberries as you want. But F definitely adds that little sweet with the nuts. Okay, let's stir it one more time. And then you've got the fun red for the holidays. But don't save it just for the holidays because it's so good. Even people who think they don't like kale <laughs> like kale when they eat this, right? My stepson's 18 and he, he wanted extra at Thanksgiving, which made me very happy. Thank you, Caden. All right. So it definitely tastes better if you let it soak. But, and it's actually best when you use it up the day of. But it can still find the day, the next day. Okay, so I hope you can see that. All right. Well, thank you so much, everybody. I wish you happy holidays. And as always, thank you for saving animals with your food choices.